Hey guys, what's up? I'm a little bit, hold on, I have to see how much battery. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed right now. I'm in a, I'm, I'm in a pissy mood, I'm just gonna tell you, right off the bat, in case I have like a pissy mood sound. But I'm gonna get over it for several reasons. A, too much to be happy and thankful about, but um, Aunt Flo arrived yesterday in the middle of brunch, that biatch. Um, so there's that. And um, so that's probably a little bit, you know, every time she's hanging around my house, it's like, what are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? That kind of a thing. Um, so keep that in mind with some of the things I'm about to share with you. But uh, number one, of course, let me start with something that made me happier, even though Aunt Flo is in the, um, in the house. I got my little package from uh, a company that I talked to last week that I was pleasantly su spit on myself. pleasantly surprised to discover, uh, based on one of my influential ambassadors, Jill Hanner, hippie butter. So actually, there's several uh, tools here. Tools. Can't even talk today. Um, uh, informational packets, if you will, that he sent me. But I talked with Brad, uh, the founder of the company. Um, and, uh, where's the rest of the stuff? Okay, so I have several products here, um, but I saw Jill tweeting with them, and I was like, hmm, hemp butter, and, you know, what else do they have? Oh, it's hippie butter, sorry. But these are essentially hemp seed products, um, and, and what I like about this is there's, like, Q&A on the back. Can you see that? Some of the questions, you know, are hemp seed products legal? Yes. Will hemp seeds get me high? Not. There's just trace levels of THC. Will I fail a drug test? No. What do hemp seeds taste like? I'll let you know, because I'm gonna use, this is what I'm really excited about, um, hemp seed protein powder. Because you guys know that I'm, um, for the moment, I'm, you know, eliminating, I'm trying to get to eliminating all dairy. Um, so I'm cutting out the whey protein powder for a while. This is um, hemp seed protein butter. <sighs> Why can't I talk? Hemp seed protein powder. Hippie Butter Hemp Seed Protein Powder is an all-natural protein powder produced from 100% Canadian-grown, defatted hemp seeds and contains 2 grams of omega-6 fatty acids and 0.7 grams of omega-3 omega fatty acids per serving. Um, so I am definitely going to try this. Uh, each serving has 130 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, all of those which are uh, polyunsaturated. Um, it has eight grams carbs and 16 grams of protein. So I will let you know. I'm, I'm very excited to try that. And um, so again, I, this, I did not pay for these. He was kind enough to mail them to me so I could try. Also very excited to try this. Um, hippie seed hemp butter. I'm just, hopefully it'd be really embarrassing if I can't open this in front of you. Um, It smells like, um, almost like, to me, it smells like a peanut butter, but yet made almost, it would smell to me like more sunflowery seeds-ish. But it's liquidy, can you see that? So, um, I hate to sound like a dork here, Brad, but I um, did not look at like what I would use this for. Hippie Hemp Butter is an organic raw hemp seed butter that is handcrafted in small batches. They contain the most potent protein of any plant source. Spread this delicate, I was gonna say what I use. Spread this delicate nutty flavored butter on fruits, vegetables, crackers, and breads. Include it in your favorite recipes for salad dressings, smoothies, dips, and sauces. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna have to refrigerate this. Yeah, so I'm gonna put that in my refrigerator. Each serving has 145 calories, nine grams of fat. Five of them are, is that five or three? I'm getting old. Five grams are saturated. Um, 11 grams of protein. So I'll let you know about that. And then also they have skincare, bath products. So we've got soap. And uh, I'm sure these are not all the products. Um, hemp enriched massage and bath oil, body lotion, soaps. So check them out. It's uh, hippiebutter.com. I think they're a really great company and I certainly want to um, I was excited to try their products um, for myself because I'm trying to get into the, um, you know, eliminating the things that are not good for my tummy and my digestion. And a lot of this to you guys, just so you remember, this isn't just about me like, oh, this is cool and I heard about it. 
but I'm really looking very proactively into trying to um, deal with a lot of these perimenopausal body changes and hormonal issues or hormonal changes, hormonal imbalances that I'm dealing with at age 43, um, trying to like naturally reverse that or naturally deal with it through natural products like this. You know, there's a lot to be said about doing your research and certainly the more that I'm reading about other people that have done that, it's like, um, hold on, I'm getting a text. Um, so that was number one. That made me happy. Oh, sweet. Um, so that made me happy. But here's what did make me happy. And the reason I'm vlogging right now is it is six o'clock. I'm in my workout clothes, as you can see, feeling bitchy, and I'm still gonna work out. And I'm, I came in here to vlog because I literally, I'm not, you guys, it doesn't make me proud to share this with you, but so many of you have been writing to me lately saying, thank you for sharing what, you know, how, how honest, just sharing your honest feelings about what you're going through because I'm hearing that you're going through the same thing that I'm going through in my mind and it made me go and work out. And you guys, I'm just, the reason that I share with you when I feel pissy and this is what was going on in my head, which, which is what I did in the past and how I would talk myself out of working out or not eating right in the past is just because, not because I want to hear myself talk, obviously I do a very good job at that, um, but it's because I know that some of you are going through those same weird thought processes and if you can recognize it and start to make changes, that's the only way you get out of it. Otherwise, you do what most of this country does, which is you just give up and you whine and bitch and go, oh yeah, since I got older, it's easier to gain weight and then you just bitch and moan and complain about it and your pants get bigger and bigger every year and that's it. I'm not going to do that because I know that um, this is all optional. We, we have the ability to make changes in our lives, um, whether it's changing how we react to things, whether it's changing our, ourselves physically. I mean, there's nothing really that you can't do if you don't set your mind to it. And you can't sit around and bitch and moan and complain about something if you're not taking action, real action, to do it. You know, I always refer back to a lot of times when I talk about the changes that I'm making in my body now, when I refer back to the changes that I made in my life and, and I wasn't happy in my work and I, I, you know, I was trying to do, make steps and I was interviewing and yet the right jobs in the right cities were not working out and I could sit around and I was sitting around feeling sorry for myself and crying and being upset. Why didn't this happen? Why didn't this happen? Why are all these doors closing? Doors close for a reason. And I remember hearing this one uh, message from Joel Osteen, and he said, sometimes God pushes you, has to push you into your destiny. And I kind of felt like that's what happened with me and the job situation. You know, I had door after door after door closed, and I was miserable, not happy, not fulfilled, and kind of was able to take a step back and look at myself and go, oh my God. You know, I'm turning into one of those people that you see at a party and you're like, oh, here comes Kelly Relax, so she's gonna bitch about her job. You know, and I, I don't wanna do that because that's not fair to the people I'm working for and it's not fair to me by any means. So I decided, okay, am I gonna just complain and be sad and whine and feel sorry for myself or am I gonna do something to change things? And once I realized I was doing that and I started setting specific goals, everything changed. I mean, as you guys know, I founded the company um, in April, I quit my job in August, and I'm doing things now. I had no idea I would be doing. No idea. I thought I had an idea that was really, I never doubted that the idea I had was good for Fifth Flesh, but I probably thought it was this big, and it's really bigger this, than this entire house that I live in. Uh, be trying to do like visuals to explain to you, Mr. Flo. But here's the uh, depressing thing, the thing that got me upset today. And, you know, I'm taking things up a notch, really taking my diet up a notch. I've gotten rid of a lot of, as you can tell, I'm just bitchy and knowing it. Everything is fitting me the wrong way today and I'm not happy. And, you know, if there's things that I would notice on a normal day, they're going to seem like this much bigger like that. See how that fat is hanging over my arm? See that? It's just bothering me. Um, that's not a very positive message, Kelly. And I don't have my water right next to me to drink. That pisses me off too, that I didn't think that I'm shooting my log and to get my water bottle, which is over there, and I'm not gonna get it, because I'm just 
not feeling it. Anyway, so knowing that um, I've done really, really well the past three weeks with my workouts, with eating. Now today, I can't say I've done good with eating, to be honest with you. I don't think I ate my lunch. It, today was an out of control day, and that's my own fault. Um, I wasn't in control of my schedule. I was reacting more than being proactive, and I don't think I ate my lunch until, I had a good breakfast, I didn't eat lunch till like 2.30 or 3. That's ridiculous. I can't do that kind of stuff. I have to, I know that the, probably the number one thing, I've talked about this before, is getting my body to eat on a regular basis. So knowing that, you know, even though, <laughs> knowing that Aunt Flo is, is in this place, and I feel like there's 20 of her floating around here going, you look fat today. Is that you? What do you put that lipstick on for? Look how chubby your face looks. Your ass looks big. It's like there's 20 of them. And um, why work out today? You look disgusting. Sit on the couch. Eat your Cadbury eggs. There's like a crowd of her in here. So anyway, I decided, um, oh, what was the thing? I ordered a couple sports bras from Victoria's Secret because I got some Victoria's Secret gift cards for my birthday and I like some of their sports bras. So I ordered and, and on their site, they had a thing about how to measure the old boobies um, so that you make sure you're in the right bra size. And I thought, you know what, just for shit, wait, what's the word? Shits and giggles, giggles and shits, whatever. It's an expression. Um, I, I thought I would, you know, measure myself to make sure I was wearing the right bra size. And I was. Then while I had this out, I'm like, you know what? If I'm being really this good now and really this proactive with my workouts and really tracking what I'm doing and I don't want to weigh myself every day, I should measure myself so that I can know when I reach my goals. It's really, really not a pleasurable experience to realize that my waist from where it has been at its ideal is, because I told you, all the weight that you gain or that one gains or that I've gained in this whole perimenopause nightmare has been at my core. And I've never gained weight there before. It's always been usually butt, hips, thighs, lower. Um, I My waist is four inches bigger than before. But what's funny, here's what's so funny, is the, the area, see I have a very hourglass figure. And the way that I've gained weight here, I'm just sharing this with you guys, because I, it just goes to show you what they say. When I was younger they would say, when you get older and your, your body goes into hormonal changes, women will gain all of their weight in their middle. And if you think about it, men, when men gain weight, they get, you know, like, when they get older, they'll get the big gut, you know, and they just lower their pants. Women, too, get it, so it's just more like an adult thing. It's not necessarily men or women, but women with hormonal changes will gain it around their, their, their core. I tended to think that I didn't gain weight there because I was always very curvy and I gained it everywhere. So, you know, my upper back, my boobs, everywhere, I just get bigger, but I was still very curvy. Here, when I just took my measurements, there are other areas of my body that have not gained an inch or maybe have even lost a half an inch or so. But on my waist, even since the last time I measured, probably about a year or so ago, there's probably at least another inch there. And that just goes to show you, I've always thought, my God, I'm just so, instead of my, my hourglass going like this, you know, and people would always go, you have such a tiny waist, you have such a tiny waist. My waist is not tiny right now. Of course, that's temporary. I do think, generally speaking, I don't think I'll ever have my waist as small as before, because I can at least stand in front of the mirror and push in and see where I'm gonna end up. I do think, you know, sometimes whether it's, I don't know if it's that I, I'm not trying to make excuses. I don't know if I've just gotten thicker, um, or if I've, um, if it's, you know, that I've built up my core and I've actually built up muscle there, who cares? I'm just looking to not have the fat. If that means that I don't have the fat and I weigh 175 pounds and it's all muscle, I don't care. If it means that I'm 150 pounds and all muscle and I'm in a size eight, but I'm all muscle and I'm feeling good and I don't have, and I can, you know, not pinch rolls, I'm happy with that. It's just a matter of, of being in the body that you're in and being healthy. So I'm looking to lose the fat. Um, I took my measurements today, even when Aunt Flo is here. I'm writing them down. And sometimes you just have to get over being sad. Because when I wrote, <laughs> when I wrote down my measurements, I was so freaking in a bad mood, already because of Aunt Flo, secondarily because I had the measurements there. And then thirdly, I was just like, the first thing, 
even as excited and motivated as I am, first thing that happened was I was like, you know what, what a waste of my time. I'm bitchy, I'm moany, Aunt Flo is here. Forget it, why don't I just relax? It's been a long day, it's six o'clock. I just wanna sit down and relax. I've got five proposals to get out tonight, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, that was what was going on in my head. So instead of giving into that, I realized, and you guys have to do this with yourself, recognize when that devil inside you starts talking to you that way. Because that's what just happened in my restroom when I was starting to get my workout clothes on. That's exactly what I've done the past two years, is I'd start to feel sorry for myself, and I'd bitch and moan, and I'd go, not today. Well, you know how many not todays I did over the past two years? A lot. And all of those not todays are why this belt was, or this measuring tape, was an inch bigger than it was a year ago. I am not accepting that anymore. Um, so I'm in a different place. I'm taking different action. I have a different attitude. I have different now. Everything's different now. But you have to be willing to take a really long, hard look at yourself and your behaviors and take some action. Realize, you know, you can't just flip a switch and go, oh, I'm not going to be that way anymore. It's still going to come back. You're still going to have a bad attitude. You're still going to want to give up. You're still going to have to find a way to motivate yourself every day. The number one thing you guys write to me about or that new people write to me about is, you know, how do you stay so motivated? I'm just sharing with you, you, you have to talk yourself through it. You just have to decide what's more important. What's more important, you know, is, is your, are your goals important enough to you that you're willing to either put a pair of jeans out on your couch or hang your bikini in your refrigerator so that it's a reminder or put a challenge out to yourself to blog every day for 60 days to really get yourself in the habit of accountability, serious accountability, putting that out there and saying, look, hey everybody, I just took my measurements and my waist increased by an inch since last year. That's bullshit. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't feel, you think I'm excited to tell you guys that? Do you think that makes me happy? Like, hey guys, I'm going to put that on my front door. No, I'm horrified to say that. But if I don't share that with you and if I don't put it out there and maybe just, you know, it, the more that you hide and the more that you don't share and the more that you don't challenge yourself, you're just going to stay exactly where you are. So put it out there. Tell people you're going to change. Make it make it a big challenge for yourself and put it out there in a big way as far as accountability. I just realized I had my shoulder that way for way too long. Um, all I'm going to say, think big, make big changes, or you're never going to see big changes and big results. Did that sentence even make any sense? I don't think so. Um, also, I'd like to tell you this. Two days in a row, no Excedrin PM to go to sleep. What do you think about that? That's the first time in three years. Thank you very much. I've been talking for 17 minutes. Gotta go. This is way too long. Sorry about this. I'll be back to hopefully under 10 minute vlogs tomorrow.